Hey, good morning everybody. My name is Patrick Leving and I am the owner of a beautiful Pilot House Endurance 35 called La Perle Bleue. Welcome to another edition of Boat Tour Tuesday where we interview the cruisers that we come across. This is Patrick's custom Endeavor 35 Pilot House with an all steel construction. The boat has been in Patrick's family since 1978 when his father purchased the hull and then completed the construction himself. Patrick has owned the boat for the past 13 years and has completed a lot of upgrades including modernizing the navigation equipment and restructuring the inside to allow for more space. Patrick has set up the boat for primarily single handing. So let's talk to Patrick and learn more about his boat. Well, I got into sailing with my parents as a kid. So basically I, I was born on a sailboat uh, back in, in the northern part of Quebec called uh, Rouen Aranda. So basically I've been sailing all my life. So I threw out my parents with their sailboat and then when I got into adulthood, uh, adult how do you say that? Adulthood. Uh, adulthood. Then I got my own sailboat and so on. So I, I've been sailing forever. Actually, back in 1981, 82, on, during that winter, when I was 11, 12 years old, my parents did the Bahamas with this boat. So it was like a dream come true to do it again, you know, as an adult. So it, it's been a long life uh, dream to, to do it again. But right now I took a year off from work. So I got uh, 13 months on cr of cruising to do. So I started June 15 back at home and I sailed the uh, St. Lawrence River and then went to the uh, Magdalen Island, the Gaspé Peninsula. And then I did uh, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, crossed to Boston, did the entire East Coast, including Delaware and Chesapeake, some intercoastal, a lot at, a lot at sea. And now I'm in the Bahamas for what, uh, two weeks now? And I plan to be in the Bahamas for another uh, two and a half months and then I might go to Cuba if uh, weather permits uh, to go spend like two and a half months in Cuba and then sell back home. I, I mostly sell so, uh, solo, so I do all my stuff uh, single ending, but I have a little girlfriend at home that comes once in a while. Uh, so uh, she's coming in Christmas and uh, she came from Boston to New York and she also did Quebec City to the Magdalen Island. So, but most of the time, yes, I am solo. This boat is actually a Peter Ball uh, Endurance 35. So it's basically a homemade uh, a hull that was built in a shipyard back in Lake Erie in 1975-78. And at that point, my parents, my father bought the hull and rebuilt the entire boat on the inside. The hull was, was good. He did a flat deck here, did the rooms inside, did the galley and everything. And then from there, he owned that boat for 25 years because I've been I've had this boat for 13 years now so uh, that's the history behind I, that boat so when I bought the boat because it's a steel boat then I was able to remodify some of the uh, the layout inside and outside to make it more comfortable or more 2000 ish you know to, to be able to sit outside and stuff like that it's pretty it's pretty neat which didn't have before but the, the beauty of steel is that you can just cut it and rebuild it it's bad on salt water, but it's, it's, a, it's a solid boat. Well, I got, I got a little Facebook page. It's called Sailing Vessel La Perle Bleu, which is the name of the boat. So if you want to follow, I don't do big videos and stuff like that, but I just write down what I do, uh, what I go through and post some pictures. So if you want to follow it, it's Sailing Vessel La Perle Bleu. All right. Uh, well, you want to you take a little tour? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right, sure. Patrick, thank you for having me on board. I thank you very much for coming. All right, so uh, we're sort of up here on the bow, kind of started the bow. What do you got now? First thing I noticed is I saw you pulling up your anchor by hand the other day. Yeah, because it's not an electric uh, windlass. Okay. And the chain is not the right size for the uh, the uh, the adapter there, so I put it up by hand. So it's my morning exercise when <laughs> yeah. I I, uh, I leave where I, I come. So, but I, it's okay. It's a nice setup. Uh -huh. uh, it's it's fairly sm small boat and the, the anchors are they're only like 35 pounds each so it's not that bad yeah and if it's stuck in mud what i'll do is i'll motor I'll, over I'll, I'll motor over it and then it's gonna g get out on its yeah. own you know and so there's a really flat deck here Th this is i call it in french my my terrasse okay which is like the uh, happy hour place okay. so yeah, yeah. when i'm sailing alone and i'm on the, under wind vane or autopilot i can sit here and have lunch have dinner enjoy a sunset a sunrise have my morning coffee especially when I do passage, yeah. it's the best, 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 best view in the world is here. 
All right. You know. And then so. Um, all right, so your sails up here, you do have a staysail and a, and a Genoa or what? Well, it's called a Yankee and then a, yeah, a staysail or trinket in okay. French. I don't know all the, the, the words in English. Right. But the Yankee, the, the only thing I don't like about the wing, the, the, the Yankee is that it's fairly small, but right. it's for IC. So when you yeah. yield, you, you don't get the water into the, the jib. Right. But it, it, still, it still does the work and it's, it's very efficient. And I have a, a, a symmetrical uh, spinnaker so, that I can use. Oh, you have a symmetrical? Yes. Right, okay. And a, and okay. a bag in the front there. Yeah. And so I noticed all your railings, uh, you know, instead of like being stainless steel, they're steel. But I mean, you have to paint them all the time. Exactly. 100% of the boat is steel. So the, the railing is steel, the, uh, the arch in the back for the, uh, the solder panel, uh, for everything, the radar and everything, everything is steel. Okay. So and it's basically all homemade. So even the, the arch in the back for the solar panel is something that I made up on my own to, to make it perfect for, for for my needs basically. And so then you do have a few uh, some fuel on deck here. How much do you carry on deck uh, and in the, in the health? Well, this is what I have on on deck: uh, two canister of five gallons for diesel and one canister of five gallon for uh, the, um, the the outboard. Uh, uh, inboard, I have 50 gallon of uh, of tanks okay. for diesel and for my outboard. Well, I got those little tanks. Sure. It's the first time that I'm dealing with tanks and stuff yeah, like that. I so I, but uh, you know, when there's one that is full, one is empty. But I'm I'm three quarter full right now. Yeah. So I, I still got a good. Uh, well, I got, I, you can go. I mean, I'm what kind of motor do you have in this? It's a Volvo Pentamarine uh, 2003 T. Do you so have any horsepower? That's 45 okay, uh, horsepower. Okay, that's a lot of horsepower for this and it's, tur and it's turbo. Okay. Yeah, and it, it drinks about uh, three quarters of a gallon yeah. an hour. So with 50 gallon, you can still go, you know, three yeah. days. Well, fast. I calculate 50 hours of autonomy yeah. With, yeah. with this boat. Yeah. But when I get to uh, like 35 and 40, I start freaking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I need fuel, I need fuel, you know? <laughs> now you have, you carry your, your uh, spinnaker pole down here, yes. but I mean, you can you can single hand all this stuff, no problem? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Well, you'll have to come crew with me because I'll need some help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I wear the harness all the time, so that's yeah. why you have the harness. Oh, you got the jack lines. Line, you know, so uh, of course, when the, the sea is rolling and over it, the, the, the wind vane is doing its job. Mm -hmm. And then you can just be in the front here and uh, manage everything. Okay. What I do with the with the Yankee or the jib is that I rolled it up, mm -hmm. I furled it back, back to yeah. put the pole and everything. Yeah. And then uh, put it back out. So I don't try to maneuver it, uh, to maneuver the uh, the, uh, the the gym while while it's open and just like right, going right, like right. this, you know. Okay. So I, I I found way to to work safely, you know. And then so you do your all your lines that they run up, so you don't have to come up here to like exactly. Uh, the the only thing that we'll have to do uh, at the mass is to put my spinnaker pole, mm -hmm. okay. Or because it's an old system for the boom to take the reef, uh, it's a rolling bo uh, a rolling boom. Yeah. So um, I, I I have to come and winch the boom here uh -huh. or the boom here. Uh, but uh, uh, the side, uh, beside that, everything is in the back. So okay. bring up the, 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 the sails and adjust the, the sails. So back here in the cockpit, uh, we hung out here last night on half yeah. the hour, so yeah. it's very comfortable. Now you, you've done some modifications here. Basically, uh, when my parents bought the boat, my father, what he did is that he, he tore away the, the traditional cockpit of a sailboat and he did a flat deck. And it made a space underneath to, 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 to do a uh, two bedroom for the, the, the kids, you know, uh -huh. for me and my sister. But the thing is that throughout the years after that is that there was no comfort outside to be able to eat outside, to have a table outside, chairs and stuff like that. So we would always eat inside as a yeah. kid from this boat. So the first thing I did with this boat when I bought it, I told my dad, I'm redoing the cockpit. Yeah. And he said, what do you mean? He said, I want to do a structure where I can sit outside uh -huh. and make the room underneath a little bit higher and bigger. So I came up with the idea of doing this, this piece of metal here so I welded everything up and the two uh, two compartment on each side where you, that you, just, you can just put some stuff. So it made a space outside to be able to sit down and I had it a table, I managed something. So now I can actually have dinner here uh, or lunch or happy hour whatsoever. And by adding this homemade tarp here or dodger, whatever you want to call it, uh, then it, it, it gives you some sunshade when yeah. I'm not sailing because because it's a rolling boom yeah. I could not have a Dodger Bimini system while I'm sailing. Yeah, Do you get a little wet sometimes spray coming over? <laughs> I never get wet because I have a pilot house oh, so right, you yeah, know you I, get, uh, I, I would uh, steer from the inside yeah. if it gets too wet outside okay. you know. Yeah all right and then so you just have like a little uh, storage box back here where you kind of sit on when you're sailing. Yes and in those I have two propane tanks okay. 20, uh, 20 liters uh, and then this is the wind vane, the cap horn and wind vane. This okay. is my uh, my best friend, right? Uh, because I, I single handle uh, single handle all the time. So if I don't have my wind vane or my autopilot, 
I cannot do passage and stuff like that, or and I have to steer all day long. Sure. So I let my instruments do the uh, the work, you know. And then you have your davits back here in a little swim platform. Exactly. So basically, the the, the radar arch, the the, the 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 platform that we have here, it's for the solar panel. I got my radar. Uh, I've got actually the davits for the uh, the dinghy. Uh, even my uh, VHF antenna is there uh -huh. and uh, my radio antenna. Okay. So I keep everything in the back here. And the way I built the uh, solar panel, it gives me a little, a little, like a little shade when I, I have to steer from on the outside. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, you ready to head downstairs? Let's go downstairs. All right, let's do it. One thing I noticed when I first came in here, uh, there's a lot more space in here than I was expecting. Because you do have the pilot house. Yes. And then I think it's because everything steps down so far, there's still a lot of room up forward. Exactly. The, 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 the thing about this model, because it's all made, you can just redo everything. So instead of having a big kitchen area and then mm -hmm. bedrooms, then you have probably a smaller kitchen area oh, it's still uh, nice. with, with the, uh, the the inside or pilot station on the inside. So basically everything is double. So GPS, depth sounder, autopilot, everything is double. Aside, beside the uh, the radar that if I am going to use a radar, mm -hmm. it's going to be because it's bad outside. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, probably. so everything is double. So you get a, a small living area or a kitchen area here mm -hmm. with fridge and all the comfort that a today's sailor will need. Right. And what is fun about this boat is that when you go downstairs or down the two steps is that you have a living room. Right. You know, so back in the days with my parents they didn't mind about the outside comfort because they would use the living room. Uh, well, and you're in a, Canada. Yeah, it's a exactly, cooler right exactly, there. <laughs> exactly. So, and I have a, um, a diesel a Dickinson right. stove. So if it gets cold, if it gets damp or too humid in the morning and it's like really freezing and gets to your bones, right. then you just start up that thing up and you just like start yeah. it up and it warms yeah. up the place pretty in quickly. 30 minutes or whatsoever, yeah. you know? Yeah, so back here you have a little uh, like a kid's and a Exactly. Area. When I did the structure outside, mm -hmm. you know what it, it did is that it gave an extra room here mm -hmm. for kids because before the deck would come here right so you would enter like crawling in four feet about so now i have five feet okay. so for like a early teenager or like children's and stuff like that it's the best you do have i think you said you wash your dishes with seawater you have a foot pump for that exactly so uh, i i've made the choice not to have running water with hot water and everything so basically all everything that is foot pump is salt water so mm -hmm. i wash with one salt water and the hand pump is fresh water. Okay. Just so for filling up for drinking water or for uh, cooking, cooking, cooking and stuff like that. So I don't waste water with a uh, with a. Uh, you yeah, know, you, washing hands. Yeah. You, yeah or a faucet. Call, a faucet. Yeah. With yeah. a faucet, I don't I, I don't waste uh, water like that. Okay. Yeah. This is the thing that surprised me about this boat is this this living area. I mean, for being only a thirty five foot boat, having this much space here in the living area is pretty nice. Yes, and it's like a hell shape that you can turn into a double bunk. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, you can so, put another table there, and you got a double. Exactly. So when I do my solo sailing or I do my crossing, and I spend like more than twenty four hours at sea, I will I will sleep here mm -hmm. instead of in. in it's the easier beaver. to get in and out. So yeah. I got all my instrument here on in the inside, mm -hmm. and so AIS radar and everything. So if something blow uh, rings and or whatsoever, then I can be quickly right at there. the helm and looking what's going on and what so when i solo sail i do like 45 minute rest mm -hmm. uh 360 of the boat making sure i'm going at the right place and the sails are all right and i go i come back to bed 45 minutes 45 minutes all the time what i did uh before my parent what they had done is that they had put the bathroom all the way like throughout the boat so you had the toilet on one side and the sink on the other side so you had to go through the bathroom to go into the v-bird so what i did is i kind of jam everything up together in a small space just to go to the bathroom and then made some extra space for the V-Bird to, to be able to just sit down or turn around and change with a with some privacy because you can like pull sure. the curtain. Sure. But naturally I would not I would not uh, charter this boat because yeah, no, it's, this like, is a, it's a more family boat. Then. Yeah, this is a two person and really it's not bad. You it's two people and then if you do have some small kids it's not bad. Exactly, like exactly. Yeah. And if you have guests for a week because it's your family it's members, then you can sleep, yeah. you know, for uh, you can sleep there in the living room. All right, very cool. Well, Patrick, thank you sir for having me aboard. Hey, it's a pleasure. It's pleasure. Was a great time with uh, being with you. Yeah, thanks for the rum punch and yeah. uh, you know, the happy hour last night. So oh, good to yeah. meet you and uh, I'm sure I'll see you uh, down in the Exumas at some point. We'll see each other for sure. Well, thank you guys for watching another Boat Tour Tuesday. Please click that like and subscribe if you're enjoying it and leave us a comment down below. See what kind of boat you want next. If you're really enjoying it, it's, it's uh, patreon.com slash sailing doodles. That's how we kind of fund this whole thing. We appreciate you guys.